面ライダーバトライドウォー What's going on, guys? The Indian Beatdown, and I am back with a brand new Let's Play. As you clearly heard the man say, this is Kamen Rider Battle Ride War 2. In my continuing effort to confuse people by going backwards in the playlist of Kamen Rider games, we now find ourselves in the prequel to Kamen Rider Genesis, or Battle Ride War Genesis. That, of course, being Kamen Rider 2, Battle Ride War 2, now back on the PS3. So, prepare for some atrocious load times, in some cases. Unlike with Genesis, this one continued the trend of following the next, uh, the next Kamen Rider series in the row. This was in K- or... Words are hard. In this case, it was Gaim and his fellow, uh, users. Uh, that of course being Baron and Ryugan. Ryuga? Ryugan. Ryugan? Yeah, that sounds right. I, I didn't watch Gaim. Um, but yeah, with an entirely separate plot, and as you probably noticed at the front screen, this is also the Premium Songs Edition, which, of course, adds a bunch of the copyrighted music that's going to get me claimed. Speaking of which, I should probably go, that's, nope, there we go. Kamen Rider! Kamen Rider! Battle Ride War 2! There we go. There we go. We don't want to set it at max because max is going to blow our eardrums. But we also don't want it at so low that uh, we can't hear them. Not that I'm going to be able to understand it, but yes, I had to take care of that first. Anyways, yes, this is the Premium Sons Edition, which means it does include music, uh, multiple music tracks from different various uh, common writers. Those some choices I wish weren't changed in some particular manners, but we'll get to that eventually. But first things first, let's jump right into the story. I hope you like summer movies. I also hope you like hanging out with Gaim, because uh, he's not going anywhere anytime soon. God, these loading screens, am I right? Jesus. Namichi, what did that Sakima Ega can you tell? Hi. Gaim and Ryuga find themselves in a very strange place. In this case, feudal Japan. You made the Momitir to Yunoka. Oh, Baron's here too. Meet our main cast. Basically, we should follow him. I don't remember his name, but he is the samurai guy from uh, Oz's summer movie. Tutorial on how to play the game. And also, hang on a second. Uh, I have to again. Actually. Yeah, there we go. Sorry, music was still just a little too loud. Alright, so... Basically, just the bear... God, those sound effects. Uh, whole, actually, you know what? I'm just going to do the smart thing. I'm just going to turn my TV down. There we go. But yeah, basics on how to play. If you played uh, Genesis, you know how to play this game. Square is your light attack. Triangle is your heavy attack. O is a special attack. And together, Triangle and O are a finishing attack. There we go. 
I may turn down the sound effects too. They're a little loud. There we go. Sorry, I'm finicking with uh, audio can audio more than I should be, but I want this just right. I want to be able to hear them. I don't want to get copyright claimed, and I want to actually hear their belt noises. There we go. That sounds better. But yeah, so the samurai dude is here to help us. He's from, uh, like I said, Oz's uh, movie. We'll see more of him later. I forget how many of these guys I have to kill or if I have to just kill all of them. I know I basically have to protect uh, what's-his-face down there. And someone is talking about us. For the, for the moment, we're kind of limited because we're still just level 1, but that's to be expected. Also, man, here's something I missed from uh, Genesis. We have four riders, riders, quotation marks, uh, on screen fighting right now. And while I can't control all of them, it is nice to actually see them work together. This is kind of a rare thing that will only basically take place in story mode unless a certain mission calls on it. But it's still nice to see. God, I'm getting kind of tired of fighting these guys. There we go. Finally, that's all of them. And Baron poofed off to go somewhere. So did Ryugen. Oh, now Ryugen is my assist character who I can summon for battle. Thank you. And I think he only really does... Uh... Yeah. I can only do one action with him so far. Which is his attack burst. I don't know if he just comes in normally either. Or only when I call him. But it's decent. He does a combo and he shoots his gun. But now it has a bar also. So I can't just spam him. Like I can't... Like I can in the future games. Well granted, he's also on screen. Uh, in the future games, so I don't know. I haven't beaten this game, so I don't know all of its mechanics and doodads yet, but yeah. Super Apollo Geist is here to give me some shit. Yep. Explain to me how to block, uh, how to lock on, and that's pretty much it. Ow. Oh, hi. I hate that that just locks off him. Hi there. Fuck you. Fuck his life up. Shoot him. There we go. Got him. Ow. And unfortunately, I can't use my super because it hasn't taught me how to do it. Otherwise, I probably would. Nice try. Oh, you were blocking. <laughs> you cheeky bastard. And he ran away like a bitch. <laughs> Before I got the chance to kill him. Such a bitch. Oh, 
And of course, I can still hit in the left stick to run. Oh no, a bunch of people. Alright, so this is something, uh, I don't No, because they had a number counter in uh, Genesis. So here, this is an area, basically, where I just have to kill a bunch of people. When the bar goes down, I'm free to leave. And Baron is somewhere. Oh no, it's not Baron. Attacker, defender, keeper. I don't know what the differences are. But I'm gonna kill both either way. Oh, no, Baron is here. There we go. But so far, pretty standard stuff. Hi, Baron. And there we go. Area is now taken. So once they're all done talking, I should be able to go. Oh, that's right. I have a horse, too, for some reason. That horse got fucked up. Bujin Gaim. Ark. That thing. I can't remember his name. But it's from the O's movie. G4. Heracrux. Sorcerer. And I forget your name. But I think you're a Showa villain. But you were in the Decade movie. These are all actual bosses, by the way. That's one thing I like about this game that uh, Genesis got rid of, unfortunately. Big boss monsters. And you can bet your ass we'll get to fight them later. Alright, I'm now level 4. And now let's actually get into the plot. Well, plot so far. Because for a lot of that, that was just Gaiman team being confused. They're all pretty much confused and have no idea where they are. Or what happened. Into our main villain. I don't remember his name. I'll look it up later and add it in post. I think asking if they really are heroes or something. Basically asking what they're doing here. Basically, this jackass is trying to make the ultimate movie. Kamen Rider... Uh, 
He's basically trapped all the other common writers inside of their own respective movies. Is his name Cinema? I don't remember. I'll take a look. If I'm right, I won't. I won't update it. But basically, he's trying to make a big giant movie out of all of the common writers' lives. So basically, he's making them replay their summer movies. And they've discovered they can't attack or harm him here. They also can't leave. The only way to leave will be to play out his stupid fantasy. And of course, he has the ticket for the double movie. Hey guys, you know what time it is. It's time for a quick in the middle recap where I correct the mistakes I made. Basically, I just want to cover my tracks and say, well, basically re-explain what I meant about this game. So originally when I recorded this, I won't really lie and say I didn't have a good grasp of what the story is for this game. And for the most part, I still don't because it's not as easy to guess as Genesis was. But here's my understanding so far. So... Our three Gaim characters have been summoned into a movie theater for unknown purposes. They are met by brother and sister Raito and Reina, the male, female, respectively, with the aid of mysterious phantom character Cinema. That's Cinema, by the way. Cinema is supposedly helping Raito recover his memories because he's suffering from amnesia. Uh, and apparently to get his memories back, Cinema has the power to make writers relive their movies for some reason. Hi, welcome to the plot of a common Rider movie. Some weird thing happens, it's an excuse to get all the writers together. But anyways, yes, he has the power to make writers relive their movies, and somehow that's going to help Raito get his memories back. Let's be real though, Cinema's not fooling anyone. They don't outright say it, but let's be real. It's not a spoiler. Dude's fucking evil. Look at him. I don't exactly know what his end goal is, but yeah, he's evil. We'll get to that later, but yeah. Anyways, I uh, just wanted to get that out of the way, and hopefully you have a better understanding now. So basically, the, the Gaim Trio have decided to try and help Raito get his memories back. And then other writers join in because they're necessary for reliving plots. Anyways, yeah. Plot is really not important to a degree. 